Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and we are back at you with more Halloween news. Uh, so we got more casting news today for Halloween Kills, which is coming out October of next year, 2020. Uh, so the big news today is that Nancy Stevens is returning to the role of Nurse Marion Chambers. Uh, for the Halloween Kills film. Now, of course, we saw Nancy in the original Halloween from 1978. Uh, there's that great scene towards the beginning when she's in the car with Dr. Loomis and they're getting ready to take Michael Myers into court. <laughs> and they're talking about how they're going to prepare for that and stuff. And uh, it's a great scene. Of course, Michael Myers then escapes from Smith's Grove Sanitarium. And uh, as he does that, he steals the car, and in doing so, uh, almost kills Marion Chambers. He smashes the window and uh, grabs at her head, you know, and makes her turn the car around. And then, of course, she's managed to escape, uh, and Michael Myers drives off into the night. And the evil is gone! He's gone from here! <laughs> uh, yeah, such a great scene. And of course, she's also in Halloween 2. She has a great role. She returns as Marion Chambers in Halloween 2 from 1981. Uh, yeah, I know it's no longer canon, and it doesn't matter anymore, but she had a great role in that, and she played... Uh, she had great exposition, you know, talking about um, Michael Myers being brother to Laurie Strode. Uh, she's the one that actually introduces that fact in Halloween 2. Which, of course, they went with for the entire remaining of the series, you know. But, of course, I know that's no longer canon, but uh, it is what it is. Halloween 2 will always matter to me, and it's always going to be my favorite sequel, no matter what. Uh, anyway, she was also in Halloween H2O, where she actually was killed by Michael Myers. <laughs> but, once again... Those don't count anymore, which is a fact that still aggravates me to this day, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm just glad to have Nancy Stevens back in the role. I really like her character, and uh, I like her as an actress. Um, so, yeah, I am excited about that. Uh, we're also getting Anthony Michael Hall, of course, in the role of Tommy Doyle. Um, now, the original actor, apparently... He wanted to get management because at the time he didn't have any representation. So that's really the reason why they didn't get the original actor. They tried to, but they didn't want to wait for him to get management and all that. They, they're on time constraint. They're getting ready to film, you know. Uh, so it's understandable, but it's kind of sad. You know, it would have been nice to have the original guy play Tommy Doyle, but... We do get the original Lindsay Wallace returning Kyle Richards, which is great, you know. And she still looks fantastic, you know. Uh, you see her in the Real Housewives TV show there, you know. Uh, so she did have some fame, you know, after Halloween. And she's done movies since Halloween, too. She did a couple other horror movies. Um, so it's great to see her back and... Uh, they also brought the character of Lonnie Lamb back, <laughs> which was kind of a stretch, I think. But, you know, he's the kid that bullied Tommy, you know. So, ooh, the boogeyman is coming. Don't you know what happens on Halloween? Yeah, we eat candy. <laughs> uh, I didn't see a need for Tommy's bully to be in the movie. <laughs> but, at any rate, it's kind of cool that they're bringing back all these characters from the original film. Um, whether they died or not, you know, <laughs> in pre in later sequels, it doesn't matter anymore. They were in the original, and they didn't die, so they're back. And unfortunately, I know I said in previous videos that Charles Cyphers uh, was supposed to be returning, um, but it hasn't officially been confirmed by Blumhouse or a site like HalloweenMovies.com that is like the official site for Halloween movies. Um, it hasn't been confirmed by either of those yet, but it was confirmed by Tom Atkins. 
uh, who I would think would be a pretty reliable source, given he was an actor in Halloween 3, and he's worked with Charles Cyphers in Escape from New York and in uh, The Fog, of course, so I imagine they're good friends. Um, so I would think he would be a pretty reliable source, but it still hasn't been confirmed, unfortunately, by uh, HalloweenMovies.com or Blumhouse or John Carpenter, for that matter. Um, so that's kind of still up in the air, uh, unfortunately. So I'm just waiting with bated breath for them to make the official announcement that Charles Cyphers is returning as Sheriff Lee Brackett. I'm praying. I mean, come on, you got all these other original characters coming back, but Charles Cyphers as Sheriff Brackett is a lot more important than those characters, you know. He had a major role in Halloween, you know, the original Halloween as well as Halloween, too. Uh, so, yeah. They really need to bring back Sheriff Lee Bracken. <laughs> uh, no matter what. Uh, but, that's it for the news, guys. That's it for the news for Halloween Kills. So, the big news, Nancy Stevens is coming back as Nurse Marion Chambers. I'm very excited about that. I am excited for Halloween Kills. How about you guys? Uh... Thank you for joining me, as always, Sean Patrick Urshan in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. <laughs>